Zombie Royale is officially back in this Call of Duty's hunting event, and these are going to be the top five loadouts you need to use in this year's Zombie Royale to dominate your competition. As I was using these loadouts, I have already won a couple victories in the new Zombie Royale game mode and been taking my time trying out all these different weapons to find you the best five weapons to use. So I greatly appreciate it if you could go ahead and drop a like on this video and let's get into this. To start this list off, we're going to go with the Bass P. This is by far my favorite weapon to go with. This has just been a lot of fun to use during the Halloween event with the hunting, the Zombie Royale area. Let me show you a clip on why I love the Bass P so much right now. As you can see, I'm taking down these two people that just appeared out of nowhere that got me off guard. And I just melt the shield off of them and just destroy them and eliminate them and they get eliminated. So go ahead and check out this gun. That's why I love it. We'll get back into this. And we're going to start off with the muzzle, the spiral V3.5 flash hider. And this is just going to help out with the recoil steadiness. There's a little bit of recoil on it, but you won't notice a whole bunch with these, all these attachments I'm going to show you. And we're going to do the negative 0.45 ounce down to the aim down sight speed. And for the gun kick control, we're going to just crank it all the way down to plus 0.40. It's going to crank that all the way. Then we're going to head over to the barrel with the 6.5 Bruin Drake. This will just help out with movement speed, hip recoil control, and also the aim down sight speed. The tune in for this is going to be negative 0.31 pound to the aim walking speed. And we're going to basically crank almost to the damage range to plus 0.35. And it's just going to feel really good. Now we're going to head over to the VLK laser, 7 milliwatts, And we, we can kind of use any uh, laser you really want to. This one I just prefer. It's going to show your laser when you do aim down sights. But that doesn't bother me. If it does bother you and you kind of want to camp, you can change it to whatever else you want. So we're going to do the tune-in though to negative 0.42 to the sprint to fire speed. And for the bottom, we're going to do negative 0.14.81 for the aim down sight speed. Then we're going to do our stock, which is going to be the Bruin Flash V4 stock. The tune-in for this will be negative 2.97 for the aim down sight speed. And we're going to go left for the aim walking speed to the negative 0.85. Our last thing that we're going to add is the 50 round drum mag. Now let's make our way to the second weapon that I love to pair with the Baz P. So we're going to do the Komodo Heavy Muzzle. And this muzzle will also help with the recoil control for that longer range. We're going to do the, the tuning. We're going to do the plus 0.36 to the recoil stabilization. And we're going to crank the recoil control over to plus 0.11. Help out with a little bit more of the recoil. The Holotherm Optic is kind of the optic that you're going to go for in any of these Halloween events. But you can use other optics if you want to. Tune in will be crank that all the way over to negative 1.50 to the far side. And down a just a little bit to negative 0.77 for the aim down sight speed. Making our way to the 60 round mag. You can use 45 round mag or 60 round mag. I prefer the 61 though because you're just going to be spraying a whole lot. Like I said at enemies and also anything else that you're going to have to spray at zombies and stuff so saving the ammo instead of having to reload all the time will help you out a whole bunch and we're going to do the f tech ripper 56 underbill you actually can't tune the underbills at the moment during this update there's like a bug going on so if you can't tune it that's why so don't worry about tuning the underbill making our way to the next assault rifle which will be the fr advancer this one is pretty good we're going to do the muzzle the x10 muzzle or uh, x10 perk to 290 muzzle it's going to help out with the recoil control it does have a lot of recoil so that is why i say more for the mid range then we're going to do the barrel for the 435 millimeter fr 435 barrel you can kind of use the 601 if you really want to it will help out with the damage range I just prefer doing the 435 one. We're going to go with the tuning and we're going to do the plus 0.24 to the recoil steadiness and then plus 0.13 to the damage range at the bottom. Now we're going to go over to the optic. We're going to do the SZ Holotherm optic. You can use other optics if you really want to. Like I said, for the Halloween event, I'm using this one though. And it's going to be kind of the same thing with the negative 1.26 ounce down to the aim down sight speed. And then you're going to crank that one to negative 1.50 to the far side. Then we're going to add the 60 round mag or you can do 45 if you really want to. Kind of the same thing with the other ones. But I prefer the 60 round mag. So I'm going to stick with the 60 round mag. Then F Tech Ripper 56 with the underbill. All underbearers don't tune. So you can not worry. Just encrypt that F Tech Ripper on and 
it's good to go. Now we're gonna make our way back to a submachine gun and we're gonna do the Lockman sub. We're gonna do the barrel though for the F38 Falcon 226 millimeter. This is just gonna help out with moving around and aim down sight speed, get around and traverse the map a little bit more. The tuning for this though will be negative 0.19 for the aim walking speed. And for the damage range, we're gonna do plus 0.22 to the damage range. Now we're gonna go to the laser. You can use any laser like I mentioned before, but this is just my preferred laser to go with. And the tuning on this will be negative 0.16 to the sprint to fire speed. And then we're going to go left to the aim down sight speed to negative 0.19, uh, 19, negative 19.74. That was a struggle there, but negative 19.74. You don't have to be exact. You can go kind of roughly around that 19.7 mark. We're going to make our way to the stock for the FT mobile stock. We're going to add that one for more of a movement speed as well. It's going to help out traversing the map. The tuning for this though, we're just going to crank it all the way down to the end down sight speed to negative four and crank it all the way to the left to negative two point, uh, negative 2.4 aim walking speed. My bad. We're going to do the mag. I'm going to do the 40 round mag, just help out with not damaging my movement speed too much. You can do the 50 round mag. I like doing the 40 round mag, so I'll leave that one up to you to kind of mess with. Making our way to our last weapon, the, doing the FSS Cannonade 16 barrel. This is just going to help out with the damage range, bullet velocity, and also the hip fire accuracy. This weapon will be beaming and doing a lot of damage. The tuning for this though, we're going to crank it all the way up to the recoil steadiness to plus 0.50. And we're going to do negative 0.17 for the aim down sight speed to make it aim in just a little bit quicker. Then we're going to do the FSS or the laser. This one is also going to have a laser visible and when you aim down sights. So you can mess around if you don't really want that. But this is also the one I would go with for this weapon. And we'll just crank that one all the way down to negative 0.50 sprint to fire speed. And then crank it all the way to the left for the aim down sight speed for negative 51 now we're gonna make our way to the stock we're gonna do the demo quicksilver the tuning for this we'll be cranking it all the way down to negative four for the aim down sight speed and then cranking it all the way to the left for the aim walking speed negative 2.4 now last thing that we're gonna put on it will be our the hollow point we're gonna do the tuning for the damage range so we're gonna crank it all the way up to plus 0.70 and we're gonna just Slowly, gradually, recoil sunniness, negative 2.61 or anything around that area is going to help out a lot. If you all did enjoy this video and this does help you out, go ahead, remember to like and also subscribe for more Modern Warfare 2 content, Warzone content, and Modern Warfare 3 in general. And I'll see you guys in the next one.